Tommy straight back into it and another interview where the lads are just finishing off out there again because we've only had one day of training since the game. But how, how's it been out there this morning? Bright and breezy, literally. <laughs> yeah. Dry and wet at the same time. So we've had uh, all four seasons of uh, weather-wise. Yeah. But uh, you know, listen, as you can imagine, lads are always a little bit, you know, flatter if you haven't had a positive result. And it's, it's our job as a staff to get, you know, get them back up and bouncing. And I think the session this morning a little bit tactical, a little bit technical, but then a little bit of fun. So, yeah, the lads are bouncing um, and we've got our eyes on the next the next prize, really. Yeah, certainly not summer anymore out there, is it? But you, are you happy with the determination you've seen from the lads out there this morning and turning things around? Yeah, I mean, I, you use that term, turning things around. I don't think there's anything to turn around. Yeah, I mean, inside the, the building, we won't ever get too high when we win. We won't ever get too high when we lose. So, you know, we, there were circumstances the other night that contributed, I felt. Um, and on reflection, if I've looked back at all of the incidents that could have been yellow cards uh, or red cards for the matter that there was one, there was, there was far more uh, offensive challenges made than the one that was, that was given a red card. So, you know, I'll always ever talk about my players, but um, I just feel we weren't given a, a fair deal in, in that respect. So, you know, that's, that in effect had a major bearing in, in the result. But... Going down to 10 men, I've got to give every one of our lads, the lads who were on the pitch at the time and the lads we shuffled, the lads we brought on the pitch, they gave everything for it, you know, and we tried to get something out of it and I thought Barnett struggled to break us down. So, you know, we've had two tough, tough games at home um, and we've only taken a point from them, which is, you know, a disappointing return. But I'm not disappointed in a lot of the things that, you know, we've set out to try and be better at this season. One of them was definitely conceding less goals. We're doing that. At the hindrance when people laughed at me last year and i said look i'll take it this season which was last season yeah i'll take that we can see three because i know we can score four now this season we don't need to score four goals we don't need to score one and we've got to find that the route to doing that and and um people might think i'm i'm being facetious with that comment but i'm not we're a different set of animals at the back of the pitch and that means we're a different set of a team you know playing through the through the thirds so I know what we're doing and I know where we're trying to get to and we're not a million miles away is, is the best best sort of comment I can give about that. But certainly I don't look about turning things around or anything like that. Yeah, of course. And, and whilst we haven't really found the back of the net in the month of September, you look at the month of August and, and we were basically scoring for fun. So yeah. there are definitely goals in yeah. this side, isn't there? Oh, yeah. I mean, look, a lot of things, you know, people's availability, people's um, wellness within themselves, you know, certain people... I look, I look at that team on Tuesday night, the starting 11, and five of them lads have played hardly any football so mm. far. The choices where I'm having to make, people who have watched, if they look back at the, the teams that I've been picking since I come here, or in my previous uh, role, I very rarely changed the team. I'm having to change the team a lot, not by choices that I'm making, yeah. you know, tactical choices, they're because of availability choices. And that's you know something that happens. You have cycles at clubs where everything goes swim, swim, swimmingly well on the training ground, and therefore... You don't have to do a great deal in terms of changing your, your personnel, um, but then sometimes it doesn't. And we're in a period at this time where some of the choices I'm having to make are forced. Um, and I'm not, I'm, you know, I've got no problems with any of the, them five lads I've just mentioned there. But for instance, Aaron Jones being one of them, he's, he's slightly not at the speed of the game. So if he's a little late on a challenge, he's a little late on a challenge. And that, that's because of lack of football. It's not because of anything other than that. Yeah, and as you say there, like we've obviously got AJ going to be missing through suspension. I believe Theo is as well. When you've got people like Ollie Harfield, who's going to have a lengthy spell. We've been missing Luke Jenkins for a long time now, and amongst others. We're going to have to make some changes this weekend, aren't we? But, you know, we've spoken already this season before, haven't we, about the options we've had on the bench throughout the season and the options we've got within the squad. So, yeah. you know, no reason to think we're not, well, they're not capable of coming in and doing a good job. Yeah, I, well, I think every team in this division is probably in the same boat. And like I said... You go through periods where you don't have to change a lot for whatever reason, whether it's injury, illness or whatever, then you, then you have to change because of a suspension or, you know, it's part and parcel of the game. It's all right, the fans loving a tackle, but they're not accepting the fact that the people who do that are going to get yellow cards and red cards. It's part and parcel of the game. What are we? We're 11 games in, it's the first suspensions that we've had. So, you know, I don't think that's, that's nowhere near as bad as what we were last year. And we, wouldn't, we weren't as tough or, or as resilient last year. So... Swings and roundabouts, it's how you, how you like to play them, positives, negatives, it's what, whatever you want to say. You can, you can swing the bias in any way you want. All I know is we will be approaching the next game the same as we have the last two games. We've got a, a group of players, I think, can win a football match and we'll be set up to try and do that. Obviously, there's 11 blokes in the opposition who want to stop us from doing that. 
we've got to do what we can to make sure we, our will gets the win. And looking ahead to Saturday's opponent, Jovial Town, it's another one of the sides that came up last season, mm -hmm. but they've got aspirations far beyond that, haven't they? And they've shown that this season so far. Yeah, yeah, it's a big football club. The manager who's been around the block knows the, knows the division inside out. Um, I keep saying it to you, there isn't an easy game in this yeah. division, trust me, they're, you know, home, home or away. Um, but they're, they're, I don't even know where they are in the team. I don't look at that sort of stuff. But, but ultimately, they're not a team that I, ex I expect to be in the at the wrong end of the table when the push comes to shove. So we're expecting a tough, tough encounter. I know we'll have shots on board with us in terms of the...